Hi everyone, Dr. Simal Soin here from Aina Clinic. I'm going to speak today about hair loss, something that troubles most of us at some point during our lives. It's almost like the bane of our aesthetic issues that we face got particularly worse during the COVID time. So let me first of all talk about the different kinds of hair loss. First of all, there is telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium is stress-related hair fall, which can happen after course mental stress but any physical stress or trauma to the body for example after a viral infection a typhoid fever like in COVID the amount of hair loss people faced was absolutely crazy people came by the hordes to try and address their hair loss issues it was really just stress related hair fall telogen effluvium then we've got androgenetic alopecia which can be male and female both. Male is obviously commoner and it's physiological which means it's hereditary, genetic. If your father has it, your grandfather has it, your paternal uncle has it, your maternal uncle has it, your mother has it or anybody in the family there's a huge chance of you getting it and that typically starts with bitemporal recession and thinning on the crown of the scalp and it's progressive so unless you intervene or do things about it it's just going to get worse with time so again 20% of people in their 20s 30% in their 30s 40% in their 40s 50% in their 50s and so and so forth will have hair loss, male pattern hair loss. Female pattern hair loss typically manifests as com less common than male pattern baldness. Again, hereditary, also related more to polycystic ovary disease, to thyroid conditions, will uh, manifest as diffuse thinning in the scalp. You'll see a much widened central parting. Then the other ones which are more related to conditions autoimmune conditions are in the alopecia alopecia areata which is you know there is bald patches which just happen suddenly fun find in the scalp so that is autoimmune in terms of the, the body's own cells start attacking themselves then we've got um, uh, alopecia totalis universalis where because of the same conditions you could lose hair completely in the whole body then we've got traction alopecia, which is something that you see commonly in, you know, people or cultures where they actually draw the hair back and do a very tight bun or braid their hair back. So that's in this, as there are other different kinds where you can have scarring and you can have fibrosis, but these are the main common ones that we typically encounter. So what do you do about hair loss? It's important for you to remember that do not take over-the-counter treatments. Make sure that you see your dermatologist to figure out your treatment options because you could be needing, you could, and there are a lot of, you know, there are the drugs like min, minoxidil, the original drugs, which, and finasteride, which are approved, FDA approved for use for various skin conditions. But of course, you need a doctor prescription for that. But apart from that, there are now many new modalities which have come. So while when you treat hair loss, it's important for us to have a topical treatment, which means that you've got to use something in your scalp. You've got to have an oral supplement because we might, it might be because of some kind of a deficiency, which we will try and figure out. And um, you've got to maybe have a treatment like a PRP or an injectable treatment. There's a new treatment called QR678, which we all do now, essentially to improve the microcirculation of the scalp with the use of growth factors. So topical plus oral plus a injectable treatment. Hair transplant is of course another story that is a lot great results even with that. But while you have that treatment, especially in men, good results in men for androgenetic alopecia, not for many other, any other treatment. And I, I have to say that typically when people come they would have usually used minoxidil or you know so it's nice for you to come examine your various options for treatment and one does manage to actually have very good results in the sense that you can prevent further hair loss from happening that's important it's important to do it in a clinic setting you know with a full dermoscopic examination followed by a prescription and a regular follow-up you know at maybe monthly to three monthly intervals 
which is and it's it even sometimes we will see 19 year old kids with male pattern baldness so there's a lot of things you cannot treat it at home it has to be treated with a doctor in a doctor's clinic so and i want to also tell you that there are some other conditions which can affect the hair you can have scalp psoriasis which is very resistant to treatment scalp dandruff is another condition which we will need antifungals for again you will need to see your doctor for that um but apart from that you know there's been a lot of discussion about whether oil should be used for the scalp or not it's actually fine to use uh, oil for the scalp if you're using the right kind of oil there are certain kinds of oil that we also use which actually um you know which would have ingredients like black pepper or they'll have pea oil or asparagus which will really really help in stopping hair fall and they will shock the hair into not falling basically so at aina we offer multiple treatment options for you and give you a very wholesome and holistic plan for your hair loss please remember that one size does not fit all especially where hair treatments are concerned So come visit us and let us make you a perfect holistic plan for your hair, hair concern and let make sure that you have healthy nourished and luscious hair